ever thought about the mysteries of the universe and the role the James Webb Space Telescope plays in solving them. This extraordinary piece of technology, the James Webb Space Telescope, often abbreviated as JWST, is not just another eye in the sky. It's a tool, a guide, a teacher. It helps us understand the universe's most profound mysteries and challenges our understanding of space. Recently, the JWST has been making waves in the field of astronomy with its fascinating findings. From investigating gas flows around infant stars, spotting the building blocks of life around protostars, to double-checking the Hubble Space Telescope's calculations of the expanding universe, the JWST is unlocking secrets that have been hidden in the cosmos for billions of years. These discoveries not only enrich our knowledge of the universe, but also shed light on the conditions that favor the formation of gas giants and rocky planets like our own. So, let's dive into the journey of this remarkable telescope from its launch to its recent discoveries. Rewind to the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. This monumental event saw the culmination of years of planning, development and testing. The telescope, a marvel of modern engineering, was designed with a mission to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe than ever before. Armed with state-of-the-art technology, JWS was built to capture high-resolution images and data from the farthest reaches of space. Its primary mirror, coated in a thin layer of gold, was designed to reflect infrared light enabling it to see through dust clouds and observe distant celestial bodies with unparalleled clarity. The telescope was also equipped with a sunshield the size of a tennis court designed to protect its sensitive instruments from the sun's heat and light, ensuring optimal performance. The launch was a triumph, a testament to human ingenuity and our unquenchable thirst for knowledge. With its successful deployment, the JWST was ready to start its mission of exploration and discovery. One of the JWST's first major discoveries were the disk winds from a protoplanetary disk around a young star. Let's dive a bit deeper into the details of this fascinating discovery. The star in question goes by the name T Char, a young, low mass star located about 350 light years away from our home planet Earth. T Char is enveloped by a protoplanetary disk, a swirling celestial carousel of gas and dust. This disk, however, has a large gap an empty space in the otherwise crowded orbit. Gaps like these suggest that a young planet is moving around the star, accumulating material as it goes along. By studying how gas escapes from this disk, researchers can gain insight into the conditions that favor the formation of different types of planets. Now, here's where it gets interesting. For rocky planets situated close to the star, a thick atmosphere is a luxury they cannot afford High-energy photons from the star strip away the atmosphere, a process similar to photoevaporation. Mercury in our solar system is a textbook example of this. Gas giants, on the other hand, take up a different approach. If they happen to form close to the star, they might find a balance between their own gaseous makeup and the star's energy. This delicate equilibrium allows them to maintain a substantial atmosphere, despite the star's high-energy output. This discovery around Teacher's protoplanetary disk and the resulting disk winds is not just a fascinating celestial phenomenon. It's a key to unlocking the secrets of planet formation. Understanding how gas escapes from these disks and the conditions that favor the formation of gas giants versus rocky planets brings us one step closer to comprehending the complex mechanisms of our universe. This discovery provides valuable insight into the conditions that favor the formation of different types of planets. It's another piece of the puzzle in our quest to understand the enigmatic cosmos that surrounds us. JWST's journey didn't stop there. It went on to spot several building blocks of stars, planets, and even life. Imagine a cosmic nursery swirling with the raw ingredients that will form the celestial bodies we see in the night sky. That's exactly what the JWST found around two infant stars, or protostars, named Iris 2A and Iris 23385. These protostars were not just surrounded by an ordinary mix of gases, rather, they were enveloped in a cocktail of complex organic molecules or COMs. These range from relatively simple molecules to more intricate compounds. Some of these might sound familiar. Ethanol, for instance, is what we commonly refer to as alcohol here on Earth. Acetic acid is found in vinegar, and formic acid is the compound that makes bee stings and ant bites painful. 
The discovery of these compounds around IRAS-2A is particularly intriguing. Why? Because these protostars are a lot like our Sun would have been around 4.6 billion years ago, in its infancy, before the formation of the planets. That means, the discovery of these icy compounds may help confirm a long-held hypothesis that the vital ingredients for life were delivered to Earth by comet bombardments. This finding contributes to one of the long-standing questions in astrochemistry. That is, what is the origin of comms in space? Are they made in the gas phase or in ice? The detection of comms in ices suggests that solid phase chemical reactions on the surfaces of cold dust grains can build complex kinds of molecules. So what does all this mean? It means that the JWST has provided us with a glimpse into the very cradle of star and planet formation. It's like a cosmic time machine allowing us to observe the processes that occurred billions of years ago and shaped the universe as we know it today. These discoveries shed light on the vital ingredients for life and their possible delivery to Earth. They remind us that we are, in a very real sense, made of star stuff. The JWST also played a crucial role in validating the Hubble Space Telescope's calculations of the expanding universe. This task involved delving into a long-standing cosmic conundrum known as the Hubble Tension. For the uninitiated, the Hubble tension is a discrepancy that arises from two different measurements of the universe's expansion rate. One method uses a cosmic fossil known as the cosmic microwave background, while the other employs a technique known as the cosmic distance ladder. Now, the cosmic distance ladder is a series of measurement techniques, each forming a rung to calculate increasingly larger cosmic distances. The bottom rung of this ladder involves measuring the brightness of pulsating stars called Cepheid variables. One theory behind the Hubble tension suggested that perhaps the Hubble telescope's measurements, which form the basis of this bottom rung, were inaccurate. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. With its superior resolution, it was tasked with the job of rechecking the calculations made by its older sibling, the Hubble Space Telescope. What did it find? Well, it turns out the Hubble had it right all along. The bottom rung, the measurements of Cepheid variables, wasn't loose after all. This confirmation by the JWST has far-reaching implications. Firstly, it reinforces our confidence in the Hubble's measurements and the cosmic distance ladder technique. More importantly, however, it intensifies the mystery of the Hubble tension. If the Hubble's measurements were accurate, then why does this discrepancy in the universe's expansion rate still exist? This question serves as a stark reminder that despite our leaps and bounds in technology and understanding, the universe remains a vast, enigmatic space filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. As we continue to probe the cosmos with tools like the JWSA, we inch closer to understanding the fundamental workings of our universe. The JWST's findings not only confirm Hubble's measurements, but also deepen the mystery surrounding the expansion of the universe. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe. Let's take a moment to unpack how these findings alter our perceptions of cosmic phenomena. The investigation of disk winds from a protoplanetary disk surrounding t Cha, a young star, sheds light on the birth process of gas giants. These disk winds, which are outflows of gas from the protoplanetary disk, provide valuable insight into what conditions favor the formation of gas giants versus rocky planets. This could well be the key to understanding how our own solar system, with its mix of rocky and gas planets, came into existence. In another fascinating reveal, JWS spotted complex organic molecules, or COMs, in ice form, swirling around two protostars. These molecules, which include familiar compounds like ethanol and acetic acid, are considered building blocks of stars, planets, and even life. This discovery may confirm theories suggesting that life's vital ingredients were delivered to Earth by comet bombardments, indicating that the building blocks of life are not exclusive to Earth but are more widespread in the cosmos. Finally, JWST's verification of the Hubble Space Telescope's calculations of the expanding universe has implications for one of cosmology's biggest dilemmas, the Hubble tension. By confirming the accuracy of the cosmic distance ladder, JWST has moved us one step closer to resolving this tension and deepening our understanding of the universe's expansion. These discoveries not only enrich our knowledge of the cosmos, but also underscore the importance of JWST as an invaluable tool in our exploration of the universe. Each finding opens up new avenues of research and propels us further along our quest to comprehend the cosmos.
As we continue to explore the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in unveiling the mysteries of the universe.